What about what happened today on a Sydney train? Uh, Jewish leaders have called for a worker to be sacked after a pro, pro Palestinian song was blasted through the carriage. Have a listen. <laughs> Now, as I understand it, Holly, this wasn't someone with a speaker on the plane, a passenger with a speaker on the train. This is through the train carriage speakers put on by an official uh, of Sydney Trains. They say they're looking into it, they're aware of the videos, videos on social media. But I tell you what, those sorts of issues, uh, images, will go around the world, won't they? Mm. I mean, it's awful. And think about how embarrassing it is for, for all of us who, who live in Sydney, but as Australians, when we saw those absolutely appalling protests where pro-Palestinians were, were calling out the most vile anti-Semitic rants out the front of our opera house and now we're going to see a social media on Sydney trains. This isn't Sydney. This mm. isn't, you know, this amazing city that I love and I'm heartbroken. And, I mean, if Sydney trains, if this is a Sydney trains official, I mean, the guy's feet should not touch the ground with the speed that he is fired. It is absolutely outrageous. But I, I cannot comprehend. You might have a, a view with regards to the Palestinians and, and the, the two-state solution and how things have been working through. But to be seen to celebrating what Hamas did just a few weeks ago, and we know Hamas was who initiated all of this conflict that we're now seeing, uh, and to be seen to be celebrating mm -hmm. this, we just mentioned the babies, but the other atrocities that occurred when Hamas invaded uh, through Israel and, and you know, Young people at a, at a music festival, the kibbutz, the family homes that were raided, how anyone can be seen to celebrating any of this sort of behaviour is actually incomprehensible and just disgusting.